what's up guys welcome back or to my channel if you haven't been here before make sure that you press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you don't miss when i post a new video i post monday wednesday and every other friday and you don't want to miss a video so make sure you do that and without further ado let's get to it <laughs> my boy meets world fans comment down below yeah. okay guys so i want to take a little time and answer some questions that i get a lot about my pinterest and growing your pinterest so here are some our five tips for growing your pinterest and your page and etc number one is to post your own pictures this is such a big one because it lets more people find your page and it's not just other people that you're saving, but when you post your own, that means you, like your pictures become a pin that other people will search for and save. But when it comes to posting your own ones, here's some questions that you have to like ask before you actually post it. One, can, you act, can someone actually save it to a board? Like if you had a picture of family at a family reunion, now, you might really like that picture and you might post it on Instagram or something, but you don't post it on, on Pinterest because people can't really relate to a picture of your family. Instead, you would do something like a cupcake you just made because it could give people inspiration to also do that and they could save it to a board like food to make, stuff like that. But you wouldn't want to do something that they couldn't save to like a topic. So you want to make sure it's stuff that everyone can relate to. The next question you have to ask yourself before posting it kind of goes along with the whole topic thing, but basically you need to ask yourself, can someone search this and it would be able to pop up in the suggestions. Like if you were to post a picture of your bed because you liked your bedroom and you just want other people to see that because it might give them some ideas for decorating their room. You would have to like put in the tags. You could always just do like hashtags, stuff like that. But it becomes easier for other people to see when you have like room ideas, room inspiration, dorm rooms, so they can be able to find it. Okay, another big one is editing. Before you post it, you gotta make sure it's edited good because one picture edited one way versus another one could change the whole thing, especially depending on your target audience for your Pinterest. Mine is like tween slash teen girls. Those are the ones who mostly save stuff. It's basically all of my followers are the like just tween and teen girls because they're all getting like visco-ish aesthetic inspiration if you know what I'm talking about. And so I know that when I post that, most of them when they save it, a lot of them like pictures that look a certain way because they're trying to make their page all look cute and everything. So you want to make sure that if they they'll want to save it because it'll match all their other pins that they're saving so you'll want to edit it good so that they won't be like well I'm not saving that because it's edited bad so it just won't fit in with the other ones so you want to make sure that it like the editing is just good and overall it'll just improve the quality of your picture going along with the editing another thing is the color scheme even if you aren't posting your own pictures and you're just saving you need to make sure that they all look great when they're all put together because it will just make like the overall look of your feed look a lot better. If you have a bunch of different like looking pictures and when they're all together then they just look like different, that's okay if that's what you're going for. But if you want it all to look better, then you just need to make sure you're sticking to the same type of editing if that makes sense. So if you're going for a very like bright blown out kind of look then only save pictures that'll do it like that you can save other pins just make sure you make it like a secret board or something so only that you can see it another way to grow your pinterest is to have a collaboration board and if you don't know what that is it's basically just a board a bunch of other people join and can add other people and save pins a reason that those are really good to have is because once someone joins it then they automatically follow your board and so whenever anyone goes to see who they follow, then they'll automatically see you. And so that's why that is a very good reason to have one of those because it just 
makes your name get a lot more out there. And plus, if they're in the collaboration board, then it will show up on every person's feed. Okay, so this topic is debatable when it comes to growing your Pinterest. Self-promo. <laughs> a lot of people, you've probably seen it before, will go down on all these Pinterest posts, follow my account, I'll follow back, or I have a page that looks like this, so you wanna follow it. Not because they saw follow for follow, and that's just like, oh, I'll get an extra follower. But they won't actually check your stuff because they're not interested at all. All they're interested in is getting an extra follower. So that is why you shouldn't do follow for follow. Self-promo, you can do that if you want to. Me personally, I've never done that. I just think, I would just rather people like see it and then want to check back at my, for my stuff. And I feel like you just get way more interest, interested followers if they didn't just click because they saw your comment on some random picture. Number five is the flow of your page. So that just basically means when you choose the kind of look, presentation, I guess, that you're going for, you need to stick to that unless like all of a sudden you just want to change everything. That's okay too, but basically don't have a bunch of different things going on. Unless you want to, then you can do it. But my advice is to just stick to one like idea. A lot of people have like, you can tell in their like description or bio, they'll like have a little like quote that kind of goes along with theirs. I don't have that, but you can kind of tell just going down mine what it is. Um, it's kind of like peachy, that kind of aesthetic, if that makes sense. Um, so you can just kind of tell when you're going down like what mine is and stuff. So I think just overall, just the flow of your page is very important because it shows if you're trying to do like a more professional look of like, I spent a lot of time and effort into this or I'm just saving this for your fun out of it <laughs> so it just really shows what you're trying to do with your Pinterest based on how it all just looks and comes together so this tip is only for some people because a lot of people don't have these and that is story pins so many people don't have those and I know y'all want them so badly I do somehow I have no idea how I got them but I have them and I absolutely love story pins Story pins gives you so much of a wider variety of room to do fun things. You can do all kinds of things. I mostly stick to mine of just doing like picture kind of stuff, like maybe editing tutorials or stuff like that. I will occasionally do like outfits or skincare and stuff like that, but I don't do as much do as like the vlog as some people do. I've seen some people just use it as like a YouTube, a, a, platform like YouTube. I don't do that because I already do YouTube so that would just be too crazy if I was vlogging. Although I do share my YouTube videos onto my Pinterest. So I do do that but I don't like vlog with story pins because that would just be too much. <laughs> but if you like doing that, you can, if you would like to do that and you do have story pins, it's always fun to make one and I've seen like a lot of people just get like a lot of followers off doing that because people just want to watch them like out of like pure enjoyment <laughs> like of just like like just tapping through and seeing like stuff and i definitely think that would be really good to grow your account another way i've seen story pins be used as was like showing like recipes and like things they bought off Amazon, just like pictures, and I also really like those. I like the vlog ones, but to be honest, they can get kind of boring sometimes when they're really long. I like the recipes and showing what people bought because it's just easy and you can see exactly what you want to do instead of having to watch all the way through making sure you don't miss anything. So that is one reason I like watching those is because it's just like mostly pictures. So those are also really fun to watch and stuff and if you like making those they seem super easy i haven't made any like that but i mean they honestly just screenshot stuff off amazon <laughs> so i'm pretty sure anyone can do that that has story pins okay guys thanks for watching make sure to comment if any of these were helpful and follow me on pinterest addy underscore mac underscore smith and you can see my pinterest and see what i'm talking about and everything 
So I will see y'all later. Goodbye.